So for those of you that don't know, Chainsaw Man in Japanese is now open for pre-orders. Now, pre-order windows normally open for a few weeks. It allows all the orders to come through and then they start printing the set as it is print to pre-order. We will be getting this in English. Uh, we just don't have a release date. And obviously, first of all, it will be coming out in Japanese. So we've got a release date here of June. Uh, so, you know, a couple of months away. Just quite typical uh, in terms of when pre-orders are taken to when it gets released. And yeah, let's just take a look at some of the information that Y Schwartz have put out here about the set. So we've got a really nice booster box design here. I'm really, really feeling this design. It's really nice. Um, and we've got some information about uh, potential pulls in the set. Typical information about how many cards in a pack, how many boxes in a case which is the standard 18 but yeah let's take a look at the information they've put about these newly drawn illustrations so i'm expecting obviously these will be the ssps or the sps depending on how they do it and we've got denji as one of them we've got chainsaw man as another so i'm expecting here you know denji in his non-transformed state and then chainsaw man card will be in his chainsaw man form We've also got Makima, which speculating here, she's going to be the chase card. Um, I think this is going to be the one that everyone's, you know, will want. We've then got Aki and we've got Power. So, you know, quite quite a, a common format. We've got the main character um, and then we've got all the female characters in the series as the other cards. So that's kind of all the information from a collector perspective on the booster box set. But obviously we do have the trial deck information that they released previously. So just in case you haven't seen it, let's just take a look at that as well. So here are the trial decks, which are released uh, very soon, uh, next month, basically. So these are coming out two months before the booster box set. Got really cool design here in terms of the trial deck box. And we do actually have the cards that you can pull. So they are SSPs. Let's try and zoom in a bit just to get it a bit bigger on the screen for you guys. So uh, unpopular opinion is that everyone doesn't typically like these card designs, but I, I don't know why I do like them for some reason. I just think they're just super like, just super simple and fun. And normally I hate designs like this, like when Tokyo Revengers came out and they just had bricks, just a like brick pattern as the background. I absolutely hated it. But for some reason, I'm really liking the color. I think it's the colors that are drawing me to it. I don't know why, but yeah, big un unpopular opinion there that I actually do really like these cards. Um, and I think as always, like when they come out and you see them with the texture and a, and a texture pattern on it, they look so much better than just these flat images. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling them for some reason. And yeah, we've got Denji SSP, we've got Power SSP. Um, and yeah, it's standard SSP. So you've got all the gold foiling around the borders as well as the signature. Now, as they are SSPs, it is quite likely that these will be one SSP per case of trial decks. So one in 48 trial decks. Now, we do have some other information here, just the standard that there's going to be some triple rares. And there's also going to be some over frame res as well, um, but not too much information or, or any visuals of what they will be. Obviously, these are the these are the main cards that you're, you're going to be looking for if you open some of these. Um, and then yeah, there's just a couple of couple of trial deck cards that they're just showing off. That you know these are just like standard cards that they just just to give people a little teaser of the artwork, um, we've got the Chainsaw Man form here, and this one here, which is, yeah, I love this, it's a really nice card, and hopefully we see some sort of, I'm sure we'll see some sort of textured uh, SR triple rares of um, cards like that in the set, but until more information is revealed, we won't know because they haven't shown any of the main cards in the set yet. Obviously Chainsaw Man was, massively popular when it came out there was so much hype around the anime before it came out because of all the manga readers that were just saying how good it was 
It came out. It was so hyped, but it, it I feel like it just it it lived up to the hype, which is quite rare. It you know normally normally things are overhyped, and you just like oh you know they're okay, they're like they're good, but they're not amazing. But me personally, absolutely loved it. Like it was really good. And I think it was episode nine, potentially. I'm not going to say any spoilers. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, there was one particular episode, I believe it was nine, where it was just a complete game changer. And that was the moment where it was like, oh, this is this is what they were talking about. This is, this is the hype. That was amazing. I actually went back and watched it again before the next episode aired because it was just such a good episode. It just came out of nowhere and was just, it was it was amazing. Um, so this is like a huge release, to be fair, for Y Schwarz in both Japanese and English. So it will be really interesting to see how it does. I will definitely be picking up this set and collecting the cards. There potentially will be a lot of supply because it's a it's a huge, it's a huge series. It's one of the most popular anime of last year. So it just makes sense that. A lot of people are going to order this there'll be a lot of cards around so potentially the cards could be fairly cheap we won't really know a good way to see where this is going to go will be to watch the japanese release and cards and look at their prices which we will do as more information comes out as it gets released we can go through the prices and see what's happening um, and obviously that will reveal the chase cards as well you'll see which ones are most expensive I'm really excited for this. I was perhaps considering getting some of this uh, to open early before it comes out in English. I wanted to get a trial deck display, but they're all sort of sold out for pre-order now. Um, I just wanted to try my luck on one display of six decks, but uh, I can only find a few loose decks for sale in Japan. So... I might have to skip that. I might just have to try and pick up a few boost boxes. Now, you might be thinking, where can you get these? They are Japanese boxes. And I've personally not ordered from them before, but I've recommended them. I constantly see everyone else recommend them. They have great prices and everyone in the community really trusts these guys. So Gold Star Collectibles, they are stocking the Japanese Chainsaw Man. Um, but yeah, as I said, personally, I've not ordered from them before. Um, they are US based though, so I'm not sure how that works. If you're in the UK like me, you might have to reach out to them and see if, um, if they can ship to the UK. I believe they do international shipping, but yeah, I've not personally got anything from them. So this might be the first time that I reach out to them and see if I can get a few boxes if I can't find anyone in the UK that will be stocking this. So Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I will be doing more follow-ups in terms of the Chainsaw Man set, definitely, because it's going to be a very interesting one to watch. So yeah, if you want to be sure that you see when these videos come out, please hit subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I'm sure if you're watching at this point, it's quite likely you're subscribed, but there's a few of you out there that aren't. So please hit the subscribe button and hit like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.